hello everyone wonderful people blessed people um i'm live again on a live stream where i'll be lecturing on a new dimensional topic and uh, and that topic promises to, to be very informative educative pragmatic enlightening it's something that you don't know so i'm going to start with something different this morning and that topic is what we call um, capitalism capitalism i'm talking about capitalism or a free market economy so i'm going to be as quick as possible so that we can quickly conclude on this topic and we can move forward um i just felt man let me just <clears throat> drop something this morning for my teaming viewers on the facebook on youtube so if you have not followed my page this is another avenue this is another opportunity for you to do that so just <clears throat> follow my my page on the on the facebook and you can also do the same thing about on the youtube where you can uh, actually subscribe to these uh, channels <clears throat> today i will be looking at capitalism so what is capitalism <clears throat> When you're talking about capitalism, you are talking about a free market economy. A free market economy. That is capitalism. A free market economy. So what is the definition of capitalism? Capitalism is a <clears throat> is a social, political, economic system where the means of production, distribution, and exchange are controlled by private individuals and where government performs what we call regulatory functions regulatory functions so under capitalism private individuals controls what the economy why the government what regulates the economy another name for capitalism is a free market economy and the countries that adopt the system they are called first world countries or metropolitan countries or you can call them developed uh, countries or you can call them advanced uh, countries whichever you call them we are still on the right uh, track so capitalism is a free market economy system where the means of production, distribution, and exchange are controlled by private individuals while the government performs a regulatory functions. Countries that adopt capitalism, they are called first world countries. They are called first world countries or advanced countries. Now, um, one of the things that you need to know about capitalism is that capitalism is profit-oriented. The reason why the entrepreneur or the bourgeoisie go into business activities is towards to accumulate uh, capital so profit is the guiding principle for a market for a free market economic uh, system or you can call it a liberal economic uh, system you are still on the right uh, track you are still talking about a uh, capitalism now um like I said earlier, I said countries that adopt the system are called what, first world uh, countries, or you can call them metropolitan. Now, and I said also that what I profit is was the guided principle. Now, among the countries that actually adopt the system, they are the United States of America, you have um, France, you have um, um, Britain, you have um, Israel, you have uh, Norway. Now, most of these countries, they belong to what we call the G8, the G8. And who are the G8? They are the industrialized, the most advanced uh, countries when you talk about economic prosperity these countries are what are number one so that's why they are called what the g8 or wealthy countries i'm not saying that other countries are not what are not wealthy countries they are not first world countries but most of them belong to what to the g8 like germany as well they are all <coughs> members of what of the g8 now um let's quickly move forward now you may be asking the exam what are the characteristics of what of a uh, capitalism number one it's a free market economic uh, system. We can just say it is a free market economic system. Very simple, free market economic system. Number two, number two, a capitalist economy, government, in a capitalist economy, government performs what we call a regulatory function. So government performs a, government performs regulatory functions regulatory functions so government performs what we call regulatory functions so it's a free market economy number one then the government performs what we call regulatory function then number two number three you can say profit is the guiding principle profit is the guiding uh, uh, principle profit is the guiding principle because under a capitalist economy the reason why the entrepreneur or the business owner goes into business 
is to make a profit. So profit is what is a guiding principle. Then number four, use of advanced uh, technology. Use of advanced uh, technology. Capitalism uses what we call advanced uh, technology to carry out productive uh, process. Then another one is what we call division of labor and uh, specialization. Division of labor, of labor and uh, specialization. Division of labor and uh, specialization. Division of labor and specialization. Another one is what we call uh, provision of uh, alternatives to consumers. Provision of uh, alternatives to consumers. To consumers. Provision of alternatives to, to consumers. Then another one is that um, you have, um, I think I mentioned one, two, three, four, five, six. I mentioned six characteristics. I think that's enough. Um, they can also say, I can add another one. I can say that um, the system, um, economic uh, competition, or you can say economic uh, <coughs> competition. Now, there's competition between the entrepreneur and what and the consumers. So, now, let me quickly explain the one after the other. It's a free market economy. That is, the government performs regulatory functions, so the private individuals can produce what they, whatever they want. But there's a price ceiling where government ensures that, that the people are not being exploited. Then government performs regulatory functions, just like what I've just mentioned here. Government performs regulatory functions to ensure that, that the interests of, what, of the consumers are actually protected. Then profit is the guiding principle. The reason why the entrepreneur or the, or the business bourgeoisie goes into a total business or to make a profit. Then advanced technology is also another factor. Then division of labor and what and the specialization. When you talk about division of labor and specialization, what we're saying there that individuals what the, the job is actually what being spelled out among the workers. Among the workers. That's what we mean by division of labor. So when there is division of what of labor, it will increase what we call productivity. It will increase productivity at the end of the day. They also talk about uh, <coughs> Provision of, uh, of alternatives to, to, to the consumers. As a consumer, you actually have alternatives. You can produce, you can consume product A, you can consume product B, or you can consume product uh, C. Whatever you like, you can you know you can buy at the end of the day. So there's always provision of what of uh, alternatives to the consumer. Then there's also what we call uh, economic competition. There's competition among the producers. And because there is competition, it will lead to so increase in the quality of goods and services that are produced at the end of the day. Now, let us now quickly look at what we call the advantages of a uh, capitalism. Advantages of a uh, capitalism. What are the advantages of capitalism? Number one is that <laughs> consumers are provided with uh, alternatives. That's number one. Consumers are provided with uh, alternatives. They have alternatives. Consumers are provided with a uh, alternatives then number two increase in the quality in the quality of goods and services uh, goods and uh, services uh, produced there's increase in the quality of goods and services that, that are produced under a capitalist uh, economy then there's also what we call the creation of alternatives to consumers creation of uh, alternatives to to consumers, creation of alternatives to consumers. Now, if you want to do it, I'm writing very, very fast. Yeah, you can do that as well. You should learn how to auto write very, very fast. Most of the university, when your lecturers are talking, you'll be able to auto grasp everything that, that the lecturer is saying so that you don't miss anything now. So, there's one sort of conclusion of auto fair alternatives to auto consumer. As a consumer, you have various uh, alternatives. You can, you can consume whatever you like. Then, I mentioned this one also earlier on. He said the use of advanced technology, the use of uh, advanced uh, technology to carry out uh, production. Use of advanced technology to carry out uh, production. So under capitalist system, there's use of, uh, of advanced technology to, to carry out uh, production, to carry out production. Then another one is that um, um, we have what we call division of labor, division of labor and the uh, specialization. Then we also have another one, which is called the provision of what of a uh, employment, provision of a uh, employment. Then another one is what we call a uh, increase in the standard of a uh, living, increase the standard of living of the people. 
increase in standard of living of the people. So I've mentioned number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them, they are very crucial and they are very, very important. Now let us quickly look at what we call the disadvantages of a uh, of capitalism. This one the disadvantage of, of capitalism. Number one, it leads to LD LD it leads to what unhealthy economic uh, competition. Unhealthy economic uh, competition. You know the the industries or the companies in order to to how to you know how to weigh each other in the what in the competitive market. They might decide to, to do some other things that will that will that will kick out the, the other competitors out of the something, which sometimes can be unhealthy for the system. So it can lead to unhealthy, you know, economic uh, competition. Then increase in the price of goods, increase in the prices of uh, goods and the uh, services. There's always what increase in the price of what of goods and the uh, services under a capitalist economic system. Then it also leads to what we grab grab society, grab grab a. Uh, society what i mean by grab grab society is that um, people always want to to you know outshine each other they want to grab some things even when they don't have the means to those uh, things and at the end of the day it creates what we call uh, increase in crime increase in crime in what in society there are now number four it will uh, increase uh, crime it will increase uh, crime in the society so that's why if you go to most of these advanced countries today you discover that, that there's a high level of, of crime in such a society because of what because of a capitalism. Then we also have what we call exploitative tendencies. Capitalism is what is very exploitative. Exploitative tendencies, or you can say it is very exploitative. It is very exploitative. Then another one as well, it increases the gap, it increases the gap between the rich and the poor and the poor the rich and the poor it increases the gap between the rich and the poor so in this capitalist society you score that that we have the rich and you also have the poor in the society this is because of because of a uh, capitalism so here i've mentioned one two three four five six so i've mentioned six points under what under the disadvantages of a uh, capitalism of a uh, capitalism so capitalism can be a blessing and it can also what, be the opposite side what, of a of a blessing. Most especially in what in developing countries where uh, most of these countries are what are adopting capitalism and there is no mechanism to what, to check the exploitative tendencies of what of the so-called what industrialists as consigned or related to, what, to the consumers buying this uh, product. So there is no fixed price what, for product in society. And because of that, the, the consumers are what are ripped off. They are being exploited by the what, by the so-called uh, bourgeoisies or most of the companies what, offering their productive uh, capacity. Now, if you look at my definition, I said it is um capitalism is what is it is um, an economic home, political social system where the means of production. Now, when you talk about production, production is the transformation of what of raw materials into finished goods, and it becomes what production is completed. When the goods and services which were the final consumers, that's why we will now you now say that our production is what is complete. But if production or the product does not reach the consumers, then production is what is not a uh, complete. So then we also talk about distribution. That is the product must what must be distributed what in the society where it was it circulated around. Then apart from that, I said it is a productive. I mean, it's, a, it's a, an economic, com social, political economy system where the means of production. Distribution award and exchange award are controlled by private uh, individuals and government performs regulatory function. Uh, so, what we're saying there is that, that under capitalism is a free market system, and most of the countries adopt the system are what are called the uh, first world uh, countries. First world uh, countries. Now, despite all this, you know, in most cases, you discover that, that in capitalist society, that there's what we call primitive capital accumulation. Primitive capital accumulation. What do I mean by that? That is the purpose of the entrepreneur to go into business is to make profit at the expense of what? Of the consumers. 
And apart from that, the workers that are working under a capitalist economic system, they are being exploited because why? They are being paid what we call starvation their wage. The wages that they are, they are being paid at the end of the day does not commensurate or is not equal to the productivity that they are giving to, to the company. For example, somebody will, you know, his productive capacity in the month is about 2 million naira for the company. And the company is now paying him 50,000 naira at the end of the day for his work, for his services. You can see that as productivity tendencies. So the bourgeoisie or the business owners are the one profiting, profiting under what? Under capitalism. As against what? The, the producer, I mean, the, 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 the laborers that are, that are producing the goods and the services. Then when it's about production, there are some factors of production that are very, very important and are very crucial. But one of them is what we call capital. Production requires capital. It requires what we call land. It requires what uh, labor, and it requires what we call the uh, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Now, what is capital? Capital is money. Then the land is a fixed asset. Then the labor is what is the productive force that what that carries out what the productive uh, process. While the entrepreneur is the owner of the business. So at the end of the day, who is gaining at the end of the day? It is the entrepreneur, as against what the labor that are producing the goods uh, and the services. So they are paid salvation wages, and the, that is the amount of money that is being paid to them at the end of the month. Or a weekly basis does not commensurate work with their productive capacity. So there is a disequilibrium there, not an equilibrium, a disequilibrium between what? Between the factors of production, that is the labor and the entrepreneur. So capitalism can also be a blessing because capitalism has, has you know, has brought about globalization where the world has now become what, a global village, where you can call people, where you can what you can transact businesses. Without even seeing what the opposite side of what or your business uh, partner, where you can move goods and services on what on the IC and you can get to another location or very far distance within, within the very short period of uh, time. All these things are what are facilitated by, or by globalization. So that's made the world to become a, what, a global village. A global village. Now um I am going to round up on what on the capitalism now. If you have any question. You can always send your questions to me on what on the on the on my platform David Oniwis on Facebook. You can send those questions to me and I will answer them. Then, if you have any comment on how we can improve better and how we can serve you better, let us also know. We always do that as well for you because the hallmark of these lectures and everything we do here is because of you. So, if you have not followed our page, this is the time for you to do that. Go there now and follow that page, like our page, and leave your comments. Till we see you next time. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye bye.